The Community Education Channel presents The Mayor's Minute with Santa Clara Mayor Rick Rosenberg. Santa Clara has been growing about the same pace as we have the last four or five years. Um, we issued over 190 building permits last year. I think we had budgeted for 100. And so it's still growing at a very rapid pace. Um, we're starting to see it slow down a little bit. Uh, we still have um, several townhome projects that are that have been growing well through 2022. The Desert Village project up north of Harmons and the Heritage Park project on Santa Clara Drive at the entry to the city that have been doing most of our building permits have been in, in one of those two projects. And then we have single family lots throughout the city. We have some large lot um, single family homes, some very expensive lots in the valley that uh, where some of the farms, the historic farms, are being developed into single family lots. And these are lots that are half acre minimum and go up to two acres. We have some R110, new R110 lots north of Harmons in the Solace Project that are beautiful lots, right? Up, they look right up into Snow Canyon. Uh, ground has been broken on a new um, apartment project, Santa Clara's really first true apartment, other than maybe a basement apartment or a accessory dwelling unit, we call them. Um, this is 120 apartments. It's up in the um, Quail Crossing project north of Harmons. And so this project will provide an opportunity for housing for people that are maybe working at the Harmons or working in the vacation rental resorts that are in that area. The car wash is open now. Mobetta's is open up there. Swig is open. Um, there's a new building that's going in that is gonna house a couple of more restaurants. Um, the Thai restaurant has is, is opened recently. We're seeing our sales tax revenues increase, which is great news for a small community. Um, that helps us offset some of the costs of, of providing public safety. We have new staff at the city. We've kind of gone through a new building inspector, new planning department head, um, some other new administrative staff that's coming on. So there's some new faces. And we're still in the Carbon Free Power Project, which is a small scale nuclear reactor that UAMPS and is kind of working with. The engineer in me is excited about that. You know, water is still a critical um, factor and um, influence in everything we do out here. The growth has been going at such a rapid pace that so we've kind of outpaced our water development, not necessarily our water rights, but our ability to deliver wet water. As far as the city goes, we come to work every day and we put our boots on. We go to work and try and provide the same level of service that we've provided over the years and keep the residents happy.